Girl, girl. Did you get a BBL? If so, can you put me in touch with him? Have we ever been through a rough patch? Listen long, long enough, you can love me. Hi, ladies and gentlemen, and everybody in between. I am back with somebody else's hair, and guess what? It's another cozy night in. Get ready with me. Clink, 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 clink. Mm. Girl, there's barely nothing in here, and I don't know why I was wiggling in my seat like a toddler. I don't know what was going on there, but I'm excited. Bruh. Hey, how y'all doing today? Hopefully you're doing well. It is another cozy night and get ready with me. And if you haven't been here before, hey girl, my name is Amira, always Amira on all social media platforms. And what we do here is hair, chat, cackle, giggle, laugh. I don't know how many ways I can say laugh. For this cozy night and get ready with me, I am going to do a Q&A. So, on my community tab, I posted a question. I asked y'all to ask me any question. Ask me a question and I'll answer it. So we're doing a Q&A today, answering all sorts of questions. And we're gonna be doing a little bit of hair. Now, I don't even know why I'm acting like the hair wasn't the star of the show today, but look, this hair is giving baby she's born with it. It's not Maybelline. Please, quit playing. Girl, girl. Look how natural that looks like. This is one of the most natural wigs I've tried on. Look how pretty it is. Oh my God. Let me show y'all the back. Y'all know it's gonna have a little slit in it. Look at that. Bro, it looks like I use flaxseed oil, gel, castor oil. You know what I'm saying? Give it sulfur eight. I don't know if y'all can guess where this hair is from, but I wanna say thank you to OMG Her Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this portion of this video because this hair, it looks like they made it for me. I said, hey girl, I know you ain't got no edges, so here. <laughs> Before we get into all that, I'm gonna ask y'all a quick question. Y'all thought I forgot. Can you hit subscribe and the post notification bell just so you can see every single time I post because I come to you every single week with brand new wigs and all types of stuff. Also like the video. We're I'm gonna go ahead and get into this hair, show you how I installed it, and I'm also gonna do like a simple makeup look, but it's not about the makeup, girl. I'm just throwing makeup on my face, baby. I'm just throwing it like a snowball and I'm answering your burning questions. They're, none of them are burning. And some of these questions is juicy, girl. They made my mouth water. I'm living my edge dreams with this way, girl. Huh? What'd you say? Girl, I can't hear you. Huh? If you want to see how I installed this wig, what this wig looks like, natural curls with no juice on it, no jerry on this curl, and also getting into the juiciness of these questions, please keep on watching and I'll be back to do the makeup and the questions. So <laughs> let's go ahead and get into it. Hair first. So your wig is gonna come in the OMG Her Hair box and inside that box you receive your wig, but you also receive gifts. You get a rat tail comb, baby hairbrush, um, hair clips, wig cap, and of course a thank you card. Now we're gonna go ahead and bust open this wig. When I tell you this wig is absolutely gorgeous and I love it. This is the fluffy Jerry Curly wig with natural edges it comes with a fitted glueless six inch hd lace cap so the lace goes six inches back so you have a lot of parting space and the style number is glw09 so i got this wig in 20 inches and it is in 150 percent density and i chose the cap size small now when i pull the wig on to my head this is what the wig looks like straight out of the box the hairline it has more of a short curly hairline and the curls are like a kinky curly texture. Now we need this hairline to blend into the hair. I really don't like the separation there, so it just takes a simple, simple step to make this work. Now what I like to do is take my Red by Kiss hot, hot comb on the lowest setting, which is 270 degrees, and I like to blend the hairline into the hair. I'm not trying to get this hairline flat. I'm not trying to get this hairline straight. I'm just trying to get it blended. And when I tell you it's a huge difference when you do it like that, look at that. Look at that hairline, it's blending right into the hair. Now next we need to take care of this lace. The lace usually blends on OMG Her Hair wigs. It blends right into the skin, but I notice sometimes I get like a reflective look on the lace. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my lace tint from Dola Hair. I got it from Amazon, I'll leave it down below. And I'm just going to go ahead and blend that into the lace. And I'm just gonna use my blow dryer, my Dyson blow dryer with the diffuser to dry that lace tint down and bake it in. So it comes out looking like it's my skin tone. Now this is my skin tone, except with a little bit of orange Fanta. <laughs> it's a little bit orange, but that's okay. It'll blend a little bit later. So I go back in with my Red Back His Hot Comb just to make sure it's blended once again. Cause once you put the blow dryer to it, girl, the hairline goes every which way. Next, we're gonna go ahead and pull this hair back so we can go ahead and cut off this lace. I have to cut off a little bit of extra lace around the ears because 
Of course, I have a tiny head, so I have to make sure I get a little bit of that lace off. And next, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this hairline or cut this lace down using the zigzag motion and my Annie shears. Once that cut down, that's cut down, you can already see what it's gonna look like. You can wear this wig glueless, but I'm not a glueless girl with lace frontal wigs. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my got to be glued gel and we're gonna apply that to the hairline. Now this is the invincible gel. I've gone back to gel because I feel like it gives a better melt than the spray. And the spray be too much mess, girl. I be crying on my forehead. Like, it just be running down my face. I don't like that. So, we're going to go ahead and use gel now. Now, I allow the gel to dry and get tacky. And I apply the lace to the hairline. And then I take the end of a rat tail comb. Not a rat tail comb, but the end of a dirty baby hairbrush. Baby, I should be ashamed of myself. But that baby hairbrush, <laughs> I haven't cleaned it yet. Yeah, it's a lot of edge control on it. But anyways, we're just going to go ahead and melt down that hairline on both sides and I'm just gonna work all the way through the hairline the only thing about gel is that it takes a little bit longer to apply so I just add the gel allow it to dry allow it to get tacky and reapply it's all the way through the hairline now I do that um, and I like to use the end of like a rat tail comb right now I'm using the end of the tweezers to make sure those ear tabs stick now you already know how ear tabs do you Maybe they'll pop up any second, but the way I do it, my ear tabs ain't going nowhere. They stay down. They stay 10 toes down, <laughs> okay? So next, after that's complete, we're gonna go ahead and take these clips out, and we're just gonna go ahead and fluff out this hair, see what it's giving, because next, we need to go ahead and chop this hair down and trim it. Now, when I trim the ends, girl, I just chop some hair off. Now, I chopped off a little bit more than I would like, but it needed it a little bit because the ends were a little bit dry, but not that much. So I used my any shears and I cut those down. Next, we're going to get into a little bit of layering. Because this hair is a kinky, curly texture, I want to have a little bit more layers because I want this hair to be big. I want it to flow. So what I like to do is take the section on the side after section sectioning away the hair in the crown. I take the hair on the side and I like to pull it forward, trim it down. And I also like to do the same on, for the hair behind the ears. So I do the hair on the temple, like above the ears, and I do the hair behind the ears just to layer it. I also take the hair at the top. Y'all know this is how I've been layering lately and it's been working for me. I pull all the hair forward and I just cut it down and I section it into three sections. So I take a section away, cut it again, and then I do one more again. One more time we part it away and then cut it down. And that's for like the bang area. That part needs to be shorter, so we just keep cutting. Now once that's complete, look. It already got a shape to it, baby. It's already given BBL body. And what I need to do next is just comb out this hair because I wanted to see what the curls are gonna be giving and look how pretty and fluffy it is. And I just like to comb it out just to see what these curls look like if you don't wanna add mousse. But we need to get into this hairline. We need to get a baby hair in there a baby hair or two. So I'm gonna use a got to be glued gel. We're gonna go back to these baby hairs because the got to be glued gel didn't have enough oomph in it. So let's just go ahead and appreciate what the hair looks like without any moisture, without any water. Very, very pretty, not my style, but I do think if you're not like a water girl, you're a waterless girl, this will work for you. Now next we need to go ahead and add some mousse to this hair. Now I'm gonna use my what mousse is this it is the the do mousse texture foam oh my god the do most deaf mousse deaf texture foam love this texture foam baby it is thick i had to add water to this because oh my god this stuff is super duper juicy and thick and it'll saturate your hair it actually dries pretty fast as well so i add like 50 percent water so it kind of takes down the, the consistency of it but when i tell you it's perfect for kinky curly hair because it saturates the curls at moisture adds moisture without the crunch so what i do is i divide the hair in sections and i use my evolve 572 brush to detangle and clump together these curls so i work through the hair all the way through from bottom to top and comb it through just to make sure the curls are clumped together. We do not separate our curls until all the hair has been dried and complete. So I just do the same thing on both sides, add the mousse, brush it through, clump it together, keep going. So I'm not sure if you have used the Evolve 572 brush, but this brush I've been using for, I say it every single time, I think it's been more than five years. It's been at least 
six, I think it's been at least six now, I've been using this brush, this same exact brush. And I tell you, I love it because it detangles very well and it gets these curls nice and juicy. Now, now that the curls are nice and juicy, we can go back to these baby hairs. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Eben Lace Bond Gel. I think this is a Supreme Gel. Now this gel, oh baby, she does her big one. This one is like whore gel. It gets into it. And I laid down a couple of baby hairs just so it may gave the hairline a little bit more dimension. And while that baby hair is drying, we're gonna go ahead and actually dry this hair. And it takes a little bit to dry this hair, but not too much. Now we need to go ahead and define our part. I actually took off my wig grip because the wig grip be making my hair hurt. So I took my wig grip and my wig cap off and I took my Mac NC50 to define the part. And we're gonna go back in and add a couple of baby hairs on the ear tabs because it adds like that hairline-ish look because none of our hairlines go straight across. So it just adds like a little bit more of that wave to it. You know how your baby hair is like kind of laid down as you wear your hair throughout the day? Like it gives natural. Now next we need to go ahead and fluff out these curls now that the hair is dry. And I work through the hair with my hands and I just separated the curls. And as you separate these curls and you work from the roots, the hair gets bigger and bigger. Baby, it's growing as we speak. It gets really, really large. I mean, it's double the size right now. It looks so pretty, so effortless, so gorgeous. These, these curls look like they're growing out of my scalp. These roots look like they grow out of my scalp. It looks so realistic and it's giving me the edges I always needed. Now, if you are interested in this wig, I'll go ahead and leave a link for it down below. I also will leave a coupon code for the girlies that are looking to get some money off. Go ahead and check it out. Now we need to go ahead and get into the face to have this face match the look of this hair. Y'all tell me what you think about this hair down below. Now let's go ahead and get into the makeup and the chat. Okay y'all, let's go ahead and get started with the Q&A. Girl, it's about to get, I don't think it's gonna get messy because the questions were actually really, really cute. So, ooh, this tea is hot, can you see? It's never hot. So let's go ahead and get into the face. I'm not gonna go through all the products that I'm using because it's gonna be the same makeup routine as like the last two times. Cause girl, I'm already late doing this video. <laughs> My time management, terrible. I'll tell y'all what I'm using now. I like to use the Prime Set and Refresh Primer Spray. I washed my face a few hours ago, so it's oily, girl, it's just. So I'm gonna take the NC45 Pro Long Wear, take a couple pumps of that. Am I already ran out? Girl, I'll do three pumps of this and one pump of NC50. One. And then like a half. Okay, girl, that was two. Whatever. I wanted to do another q and I think it's been a while since I did a QA. and a I did it a while ago. I asked on my community tab for y'all to ask me some burning questions, girl. Fire questions, girl, hot fire. Uh, we gonna go ahead and get started. So my face is gonna be something really, really simple. Not nothing too, too much. So we're just gonna start blending it out. What I'm trying to do is just even my skin tone with concealer. So let's go ahead and start with the first question. So the first question is from Kimberly Bonet. She asks, what is your favorite or random fun fact about yourself? And what's a movie you could watch over and over? Okay, so a random fun fact. I think I've told y'all this before. I used to teach pole dancing classes in a club. I did the pole dancing in the club. So while the DJ was going, we would do pole dancing to advertise for the pole dancing class that me and my girlfriend used to do downstairs. So we only did it like a couple times, but when I tell you it was the most liberating experience ever, oh my God, it was one of the best times. So I decided to start pole dancing on my own. Um, I have always been a fast learner and I'm a determined learner. So if I don't learn something, I kind of like, hyper focus in on that thing. I learned it and you whatever. So I learned it pretty fast. And um, me and this girl, this girl had an idea to do classes and she said, let's do classes together. So we started it by going to a club. So I would get to the club around 11 and then we just dance all night. It was kind of more like go-go dancing. Do classes, girl, all types of people from different ages would come. So 
I mean, we had a great time doing it. I think it was only one or two classes, but I still enjoy doing it on my own. I don't know if I could do it anymore. I still have the pole, but I don't, this ceiling is 15 feet high and <laughs> I'm not getting no 15 foot high pole. I'm not doing it. I think I was like 23, 24. And baby, oh, that was a long time ago. I know I can't get up there now. <laughs> what is a movie that you could watch over and over? Brown Sugar. Brown Sugar has been my favorite, favorite movie since the first time I saw it. I think the first time I saw it, I was a teenager or a preteen. First of all, I had a huge crush on Tay Diggs. I love Sanai Lathan. Sanai Lathan like, looked like my sister, except like a little bit darker. I just love Sanai Lathan. I love Tay Diggs. I just love that movie i could watch that over and over and over again also pretty woman next question faith k hey faith fun questions what will you do one day if you woke up and had five cats in your house and they refused to leave i'm leaving there was five cats i like cats but if there was five cats in my house and i just woke up and there was five cats what are they doing staring at me first i will probably throw up <laughs> thought of it as making my skin crawl because how did they get there I like cats, but if I chose for them to be in my house, <laughs> I'll be into it. But I want to see no pussy cat in my house. This <laughs> is MAC NC45 um, 24 hour concealer. What would I do? I'm like freaking out right now. My husband, he would put them all outside. I wouldn't touch them. I would call the cops. If I woke up with five cats in my house, what would y'all do if y'all woke up with five cats in your house? Who sent you? I would get my behind on Trulia, Zillow. Five cats show up today. How many gonna show up tomorrow? They can't refuse to leave. I'm leaving. Y'all can have this place. You got money for rent? Okay. Y'all can split it up five ways. Uh, 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 uh. Five ways. Y'all got this. Y'all can have it. Zane Antoinette asks, I'm new to the wig life. What are some of your best tips to having a laid wig for a newbie who typically rocks her natural curls? Huh, that's a good question. One of my best tips. Make sure you have a good lace tint or good makeup to make your lace the same color as your skin tone. Secondly, make sure you have a good melting spray or gel. I prefer gel these days because it's a little bit easier to spray down the wig. Get a hot comb. Get So get a hot comb, get some lace tint, and get a good melter, like a gel or something like that. I promise you, you will be fine. It don't matter how flat it is up here. If back here is like this, girl, you already done fail. Just take your time and melt it down. So those are like my three tips, but I, I'm long-winded, so it's hard for me to give like three tips. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm a long-winded girl. Hopefully that's helpful. If it's not helpful, you can go back in the comments and say, girl, you didn't help me. Another fun question, eat salad for a year or just fish? Oh, I want to say salad for the taste because you could do anything with a salad, but you could do anything with fish and I feel like protein is really, really important. Can you put more stuff in your salad or is it just leaves? Because you could put all types of stuff in your salad. I would say a salad because I could put other stuff in a salad. On fish, if it's just the fish, you can season it, but there's nothing else in there. I can get my protein from a salad. So I would do a salad because I need fiber, girl. Y'all know how I am about fiber. <laughs> Me and Fiber are like this, girl. I call Fiber on the weekends. And I get her on the phone. I say, girl, where you at? Okay, I need Fiber. Um, fun question. If you were to drop in a jungle with your husband, what are the three items you would take? Just three items for the two of you. Um, I feel like I should do that with my husband because I don't know. Three items I would take. I'm probably going to do a second Q&A. And I'm going to bookmark this to answer in another Q&A. Miss Lady asks, have you had any problems with the bonding or melting sprays holding through perspiration, i.e. when you go dancing at a wedding and an event that is hot, which causes you to perspire, etc.? Thanks, love your videos. No, not really. Like sometimes, like for how I apply my wigs, sometimes, I, sometimes when I'm nervous, I sweat a lot on my forehead. You know, it be getting hot. And even though it's hot and I sweat, my wigs don't come up like they stay in place not even the ear tabs so and when they do if they do get like a little bit moist all you gotta do is just hold it down and dry yourself off it'll stick right back on so i usually don't have any issues but if i think about it and i have enough space in my purse i always bring a backup so you either you can bring like a tiny little gel or you can bring a tiny little travel spray with you just in case so if i go to a club or something like that I will have a backup just in case for me and any other girl around me just in case you got a unit on girl and i live in Atlanta, so 
Somebody got on something on their heads. In case you got on the unit or something and your lace lift up, I got you, friend. Now, I've had a wig slip back at a wedding, but I ain't have it tacked down. So this is early in my lace frontal career. I had a wig slip back at a wedding, and baby, I had to go back in there, and I think I had some thread, and I stitched it to my wig cap. Girl, I don't know what I did. But I was able to go back on that dance floor, but baby, that thing was slide back. And when I get on the dance floor, baby, I'm twerking. I'm throwing it. Okay, what wedding I'm at? And we was at a wedding <laughs> where they played country music. And I still was throwing it, okay? Period. That wig was sliding back, but one monkey don't stop, no show, baby. I go in the bathroom, shift that thing right on up. It wasn't a hard install, it was a soft install. So no, um, it was glueless. Why would I call it a soft install? Nakia Barnes, 1066 ask what are your top five perfume brands so i am new to the perfume game i'm new to perfume so i'm still finding like my scents like i'm still trying trying to find the stuff that i like but so far my go-to brands the one i wear all the time is chanel so i love chanel not chanel number five okay but i like chanel mademoiselle i wore that one for years i still wear it like during the day like if I'm morning running errands or something like that. Somebody in the comments, and I forgot who you were, you told me before I went to LA, before we went to LA, y'all can go ahead and check out that vlog, to try YSL Libre. Oh my God, I love the YSL perfumes. Really, really pretty. Love their brand. I love the, uh, what is this? Caroline Herrera. I love Caroline Herrera. Caroline Herrera, the stiletto. I think this one's the, it's the sparkly one. So I don't know what which one this is, but this one, that's the, the sparkly stiletto. Oh my God, it's a great fall scent. I love Jo Malone perfumes. They're really, really fresh, clean. I love Jo Malone perfumes, but I also really, really love um, this Target brand. And this is like a natural brand. This is something I like to wear at night. And this brand right here, Good Chemistry. I love Good Chemistry. I wear Good Chemistry to bed. This is the Queen Bee one. I don't know what it is, but I love wearing it to bed. Maybe I still love a good old Juicy Couture, okay? I know it's like, I don't know if the girls still like that scent, but baby, Juicy Couture was my, my scent. Baby, I was in love with Juicy Couture. So, I don't know if that's a top five brands, but definitely Jo Malone, Caroline Herrera, YSL, Chanel, and Good Chemistry. And there's one more for like the body spray. Finery has really, really good sprays, like body sprays that you can wear like at home because I like to have a scent on all day. So even when I'm at home, I like to have a scent I put on in the morning. I like a scent that I put on at night. I like having a scent that adds to my theme of the day. So if I'm working out, I'll use finery perfumes just so it can get me in the mood. Sometimes I'll put on my Jo Malone C Daffodil, but something bright to make me feel like oh, I'm going to the gym. You know, I like to have a thing, like a scent thing for the day. Those are my top five brands. Wow, I'm running my mouth way too much. I'm gonna have to answer this one, Faith, with my husband. The ones that are with my husband, I think I'm gonna do a second Q&A with my husband, if he'll do it. If he'll do it, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Emeretta, or Emeretta, Emeretta Robinson asks, how did you know your husband was for you, was the one for you, and how did he know? Have you done a review of Miss Roshposs's wig glue line, and, and I somehow missed it, and what are your favorite shows that you're watching okay so i think i'm gonna answer how did i know my husband was the one for me there was a feeling but i knew after our first date and how comfortable i felt i don't know how to describe it but when i first met him we worked at a restaurant if y'all been here you already know the story we worked at a restaurant together i had been working there for years and he came in one day and Girl, I saw him. He was super cute, but I just, I had just gotten out of a relationship with somebody like maybe a few months before. So I was on my get back, girl, get get with it journey, girl. I was getting fine, girl. I was getting thick, girl. I was working out, whatever. But my mind was on me. Okay, my mind wasn't on anything else but me. But one day I saw him and I was like, oh, okay, girl, he is cute. Ah, he is tall. He is cute. He is fine. He got a body on him, okay. And I found out that he liked me. And then like my lights turned on. I was like, wait, girl, you over here not looking and he looking at you and you looking at him. Girl, pay attention. Well, I'm gonna use my Bobbi Brown powder. Anyways, so I started to notice how he 
would treat people around us. So he has a good sense of humor, he loves to laugh, but also he was chivalrous. He opened doors for every, like open doors for women. And he would also like walk women to their cars because we worked downtown at the CNN Center. So he would walk women to the cars to make sure they felt safe. Like, I love that. I love how chivalrous he was. And he was the same exact way on our date. He didn't push boundaries. He made sure I felt comfortable first. On top of that, like his sense of humor, he's like really, really funny. And on our first date, I felt so comfortable to be myself. I felt like, I don't know. It's like a level of safety and secureness and his energy is so calm. Like it's so peaceful. And that's, I don't know how to describe it. Why am I about to cry? Anyways, girl, I was actually about to cry. That is crazy. I still feel this way to this day. Like it's something that I can't explain, but it's an energy that I had prayed for in a partner. There's no words that I can describe it as except feeling safe, safe, calm, and just joyous, happy. Girl, I didn't have to worry about nothing. I felt at peace. And my mom had asked me one day, we went to IHOP and I had just moved. And she was like, do you love him? And I had been on like three dates. It just happened. And the feeling when my mom asked me at IHOP, I was like, yes, I love him. Girl, how many dates? Like two, three? Girl, I loved him then. So I don't know, it was just a feeling. I just knew, and that's an annoying answer, but I just knew. Have you done a review of Ms. Raj Pasha's wig glue? I haven't done an actual review, and I need to, because I actually have spoken to Raj Posh. Shout out to Raj Posh. I bought the spray, and I haven't, I used it like a little bit on one wig, but, I hadn't like did a full review and I can't remember which wig it was. So I'm going to do a full review, but I don't use wig glue. I use like the spray. So I'm gonna go in and use the spray separately, but I wanted to give it its own shine. I just, I haven't had the time. I've spoken with Wash Pots before she reached out. She offered to send me the product and baby, I already bought it <laughs> because my girl had put it out. I was ready to buy it. I think I bought it like within a week of her putting it out. And and it was sent to my house and I just kind of got bogged down in other wig reviews and stuff like that. And I've been meaning for it to have its own. I'm thinking I'm just gonna do a short on it, but shout out to Raj Paz, she has beautiful products. I just haven't been able to use them in the right way yet. I used it on vacation, loved it. I recorded a little bit of it, but not too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a separate short with it. But so far, I like the product. I just need to figure out how to use both because I bought two. I bought the um, base and I also bought the spray. So I'm going to be using them, but I need to just do a separate review. So you didn't miss it. I used it in one video. I think one of my videos and I don't know which one it was. I cannot remember. So I will be doing a separate review. I wish I used wig glue. I'm kind of considering buying her wig glue and trying wig glue one time. I'm just scared of wig glue. I'm scared of it, so. But no, you haven't missed it. And what are your favorite shows that you're watching? Oh my God, girl, I have so many. So, my favorite shows are all the Real Housewives that are on right now. Not Real Housewives of Potomac because, uh. We finished Suits a while ago, but that's an honorable mention. I love Suits. I love Lincoln Lawyer. Uh, we watched that. Loved, I watched Pearson. I love good TV shows. Lately though, I'm into reality shows. So I've been watching Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and what else? Girl, my makeup is looking good. Hold on. I need to run my mouth more often. Real Housewives of Miami, Real Housewives of Salt Lake City, Monica, girl. How many of y'all like Monica? Cause I hated her, hated her. She was too much. Is there other TV shows? And then there are TV shows that I consistently watch every single night when I go to sleep. Seinfeld, I watch that almost every single night. And during the day, if I'm trying to relax, I will watch The Office. I know almost every single line in that show. Up to like season five, or six, but I love The Office and I love Seinfeld. I watch them over and over and over and over and over again. It's like a obsession, I have to watch them. So I can't wait till Vanderpump Rules comes back. I'm waiting on that because y'all know I'm obsessed. Yeah, but I have other shows that I'm watching. There's a new show on Netflix. We finished The Boys. Um, what else? My husband introduces us to a lot of good shows because I don't really like new things, but there's this new show that we're watching on Netflix we're feeling it out 
I'm not sure if we like it, but it's like a crime show. And I love true crime. <clears throat> so mostly it's reality shows. The scripted shows that we were watching are, um, we've already breezed through them and we watched all of them, so. I Neil, 2800. Hey girl, hey sis. Shout out to I Neil. She's always in the comments. First one, babes. Shout out to I Neil. Top five R&B artists you love to listen to. If you could travel to one place in the world, or out of the country, where would where would it be? Ooh, okay, so top five R&B artists. Ooh, okay, so. I liked a lot of male R&B artists, but I'm gonna mix old and new. So new, is this R&B? SZA and Summer Walker, love them. Now, I don't know if she's R&B, but this is really who I like, Alina Baraz. Okay, so I don't think she is R&B, but I listen to her when I'm trying to get into the mood of like focusing and working or if I want to calm down, I listen to Alina Baraz. Now, if we're going to go into old school, I loved, oh my God, R&B artists. I loved Case. I loved Tyrese. I loved, um, Beyonce is R&B, but like Beyonce, I feel like is a given. So I'm just like, obviously um but she's r&b pop kind of usher love usher oh my god jagged edge was like my favorite r&b group though if you could travel to one place in the world in or out of the country where would it be i would go to greece santorini i want to go to greece don kettles asks do you still see yourself being a content creator five years from now ten years from now what would be next for you yes i still myself still see myself being a content creator five or ten years from now the way i see it is i'm gonna take my snack room blush no i'm gonna take this blush from lip bar because it's less intense but i do see myself being a content creator especially five years from now yeah because i'm just now getting in my bag plus i feel like content creation even if i have businesses or something like that i don't think content creation is gonna go away. I think it is the new phase of marketing. So I'm always gonna create content for myself or other people. I feel like, like I said, content creation is never going anywhere. Um, so yes, I'm gonna create, continue to create content and I want to be the best at creating content for myself. Even if I'm not the front and center person, I wanna be able to still use that skill. Learning how to film products <laughs> Learning how to film products and create an aesthetic look is a skill set that I think is priceless. I was gonna say invaluable, but I don't know if that's the word I wanna use, but it's a priceless skill. So yeah, I'm gonna always create content. Am I gonna be front and center? I don't know, because in five years, I will be 30, 42? I'll be 42. So I don't know what I'll be at 42. I'll probably have some kids or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, I plan on still doing it. I'm never gonna stop content creating, ever. Y'all gonna have to kick me out. <laughs> I may not be in the front of the camera, but I'm always gonna create content. I feel like always, always, always. What would be next for you? So what would be next for me? I do want to open a couple of businesses. I have a couple of businesses in mind that I would like to do using like wigs, wig products, something like that. I have things in mind, but I would love, because I'm always, my heart is with hair. Me and hair have a bond that has gotten me through like hard times. Like if I, was having a tough day, I was always in my hair, in somebody else's hair. I bonded with my friends doing their hair. So like, hair is just something that's always gonna be a part of my life. And I can't see myself separating from hair. I love hair so much. But I have a couple plans, but of course, you know, you gotta wait and see. Girl, are you gonna open up a website, website and sell your wigs or not? <laughs> yes, yes I am. I'm going to, I know I'm getting on your nerves. When I finally start selling the wigs, you'll see why. You'll see why it took so long because I'm, I'm a particular person and I like to do things a certain way. And if I don't do it the way I want to do it, then I'm not going to do it. Please, I know y'all mad at me. And if you just be like, girl, I'm over you, I get it. I'm over me too. So yeah, that was Marianne H, 1456. Marianne H is over me and I get it. I'm over me too, girl. <laughs> you can be mad, you can cuss me out. I already know you doing it. But yes, we're going to. Devin! Debbie do oh three, but shout out to Devin. Okay, first off, surf. Thank you, friend. My annoying question is when is the wig sale? Devin, you already know that I don't <laughs> I'm working on it. <laughs> like I don't know which ones you're selling, but you have like three videos I watch all the time because you know 
the inches. Yes, I know you like inches, Fran, but also, does the hubby like or want to be in more of the videos? Like, what's his perspective? Um, friend, I don't know. I need to go to bed. Bye. Love you. Love you too, friend. My husband does like to be in the videos, but he's not like a in front of the camera person exactly. So he doesn't mind doing it. He doesn't mind not doing it. Like, he's just kind of like, you know, okay. But when I'm like gonna film, he never says like, no, I don't feel like filming today. Like if I say I'm gonna vlog, he just says, okay. And if he's there, he's there. And if he's not, he's not. He is okay with being in the videos, but he never, like my sit down videos like this, he's never like, we should do a video together. Never, ever, 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 ever has he done that. Because he's just, he knows like this is like my thing, like sitting down. So if I ask him, he's like, of course. He's open to being in more videos if I ask him to. You know, he's just a go with the flow. If you haven't noticed, he's kind of like really, really chill go with the flow type of person. So he goes with the flow. So he's like, yeah, if you want me in more, I'll be in more. If not, yeah, all right, fine. He may start his own thing, I'm not sure. <laughs> we'll see, but he never was a person that's like, I wanna be in front of the camera. That's not really like his thing, you know? So I just stopped doing my makeup. Um, let me do my eyebrows. Let me find my eyebrow pencil. This office, I have an air purifier in here. And this office stops my nose up real bad. That's why I sound like these. Just bad. I got all these micro brow pencils, all different colors. So espresso, this is the one I need. Espresso in black because this hair is so dark. The wig questions, I'm going to put in a, a separate Q&A for a wig video that I'll be doing next month. I'm sorry y'all. I know I say ask any questions, but the wig questions, I'm gonna make separate. I'm probably gonna add it to another video. I don't know, but I'm gonna do a separate one because I actually need to do research because some of these questions I don't answer, I can't answer off the top of my head. So, Empress, Empress says, greetings Amira, lovely name by the way, thank you. Have you used Perfect Line Swiss to cover your grids? Grid lines on your units yet? Yes, I have. I have used Perfect Line Swiss in a couple of videos and I actually have a short on it as well. So yes, I use Perfect Line Swiss. I bought it a couple years ago off Amazon. I'm in the color Miche for my Perfect Line Swiss and it does a great job. Um, the only thing is like a little bit thick. So if I'm gonna sell my wigs, I don't like using them on the wigs that I'm gonna sell because you gotta get the gunk off. So, but I love the Perfect Line Swiss stuff. Have you tried the unbrush to untangle your units? No, I haven't tried the unbrush. I probably need to, but TikTok, that was like a TikTok product that went viral. And I gotta be honest with y'all, like TikTok be getting on my nerves because everybody says like, you need this product, you need it, you need it. Oh my God, you need it, you can't breathe. You don't have this product, oh my God, what are you doing? When I hear people talk like that, I be like, girl, I'm not buying it. I'm gonna go ahead and stick my stick with my Evolve 572 brush because she ain't giving me all the dramatic, she's not passing out. Okay, y'all over here passing out over this brush. I should try the brush because I heard it's really, really good. So I should try the unbrush, but I guess I'll try it. I'm just being stubborn. I'm bringing a stubborn millennial. So every time I see an ad pass by, I be like, oh, girl, I get it. But I'll try it out. Y'all want me to try the unbrush? I'll try the unbrush. Sometimes I'm dramatic, but it really gotta be good for me to be dramatic, y'all. Okay. Top five Atlanta dinner spots. I know it's Slim Pickens, girl. Um, this is from EDT03. So my top five dinner spots, we recently, in the last vlog that I put up, we went to Le Colonial, love it there. Howl's, I really loved Howl's, but Howl's, girl, we had an issue. Somebody had stole some money from us there. They didn't give us our money back, so we haven't been back, but I loved Howl's. My husband took me there early when we first started dating. Um, what else? What's another spot? We love. I love Chai Yo. Uh, la, 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 la. What's another spot? There's actually a lot of good restaurants here in Atlanta, but you can't go to the ones that are on like TikTok <laughs> or like that they're hyping up because they be doing too much. What's another one? Dinner spots. Oh, Arnett's Chop Shop. Love Arnett's Chop Shop. And then there's one more. Dang it, I forgot the name of this one. It was. Um, on top of a hotel. Rever reverence, revenance. Revenance, reverence um, at the Epicurean Hotel. So that's like a good like hotel restaurant. Really liked it there as well. I know there are others. We stay away from the restaurants that get too much play on Instagram because once it starts to get packed, yeah, things start to change in a restaurant. So the low key ones are really, really good. Arnett's Chop Shop is 
fire. Oh yeah, and I, The Optimist is really good. There's so many. There's so many really, really good restaurants, but if House is still our money, <laughs> grab me on top of that, that was $50. But House got really good food, and before it got too popular, it was like a real good vibe. Girl, we saw, saw Stevie J and Jocelyn there. It's a little side note. At House, we saw Stevie J and Jocelyn there one time years ago when me and my husband went there for dinner. And she was giving him a lap dance in the middle of the flow, girl. I was like, what is going on? They were sitting at a, like a center table and she was getting his lap. And I was like, what is happening? What is happening? <laughs> but House is a vibe. Love House. Um, oh, this is a good question. I'm going to go ahead. What am I going to finish? I'm going to do my lips. Yes, I need to add some black to my brows. I also have gut problems. Can you give a shopping list of items that work for you? Yes, I need to go back to the, well, I need to go to the gastro, but I recently got off of my Prilosec. Consult your doctor, but there are a couple of vitamins that I use. I definitely take probiotics, but I take really, really high probiotics, like the probiotics that cost $60 that are in the fridge. I think, what's the brand? It's like a gut flora one. And I use the one like for women that's supposed to be good for your gut. It's supposed to be good for the bacteria in your body. You're supposed to have good bacteria. So I take probiotics. I'll leave those probiotics down below because I can't remember what it is. I also take um, Slippery Elm sometimes like in the tablets before I have something like spicy or if I have alcohol or something like that, I'll take some Slippery Elm before I eat. I also drink George's Aloe. Um, I'll drink that once or twice a day, especially if I'm having a stomach issue. But usually I do once a day or once every other day. You gotta be careful taking this stuff. You have to consult with your doctor. Um, food items that I eat are, so the food items that I eat or drink are, I use the tea chino tea, dandelion root tea. It's really, really good. It tastes like coffee, but it's good for your gut. I eat a lot of yogurt and um, miso soup. So probiotic drinks and soup. Yogurt, I'll have that in the morning. And I also will eat miso soup, which is a probiotic soup that's really, really good for your stomach. And I also am gluten-free and dairy-free. So no dairy at all. I mean, sometimes if it's cooked in a cake, girl, what, what can I do about that? Like my stomach today, great. No issues. Where's the wood? My stomach has been doing great because I've been practicing that stuff. And I also take breaks from like alcohol. I don't eat any tomato-based products. I try and make sure I incorporate veggies. And lately I've been eating pecans and dates as like a little bit of a dessert, like a sugary dessert to help digest foods. Cause y'all know how I am about my fiber. I eat green beans, broccoli, stuff like that. Like I try and incorporate healthier foods, but I try and base my foods in like things that add probiotics to my uh, stomach that adds good bacteria to support my gut flora, which has been helping a lot. My stomach is back on track, baby. Never been better. The person that asked that question was J9, 1934. Miss Travel Nurse Babe, 6607. Somebody asked, she asked, was I a mother? I'm not offended by that question because like she said, like some people do hide their kids. I'm not a mother. I do not have any children. Okay. So no, <laughs> I'm 36 years old. I'll be 37 this year. No kids. So no, not a mama. I'm an auntie, but I'm not a mama. Raw 2014 asked, did you get a BBL? If so, can you put me in touch with him? Your body is flawless. If you didn't get one girl, just accept this as a compliment. You're beautiful in looks and in personality. Oh my God, this is the biggest compliment I could have ever got in my whole entire life. <laughs> no, I did get a BBL. When I saw that comment come in, I was like, girl, I gagged. Do you know how I always want to look like I had a BBL? No, I've never had a BBL ever in my life. Never even thought about it. I do a lot of workouts to increase the size of my butt. So I was telling y'all a long time ago before I met my husband, where is my, I need to find a lip liner or something. Um, I went through a breakup and I decided I wanted to get my revenge body. You know, you know how you are. I was like 23, 24. I was like, I'm about to get fine. Okay. I'm about to get out here and get thick. Like I always wanted to be, cause I've always been thin all my life. Been really, really tiny. My sister's body is curvy. I always loved her body. Like I always be like one day I want to look like my sister. So I was like, girl, I can't, I'm not born this way. I wasn't born with it. So I was like, I'm about to make it happen so one day i just started i went to some website and i started eating a lot of protein potatoes and stuff like that for weight gain 
And I started working out, doing weightlifting, hip thrusts were my best friend, and squats. And that's how I got like, you know what I'm saying? In the back, baby, it grew. So I was like 35 inches around my butt and I would measure my butt like once a week. I was like 35 inches and now I'm up to like 40, 41. <laughs> so baby, we grew now, the whole body grew. I, eventually I got to a point where I was like 45, like I was thick, thick. But I intentionally tried to grow that part of my body because I was like, baby, I'm gonna be fine, okay? I'm gonna be fine like my sister. So thank you, I appreciate it. <laughs> I would refer you to my doctor, but I'm just, it's a jam, girl. It's the gym. I wish. I've never wanted a BBL because I'm scared of the doctor. I'm scared of doctors. I don't trust them. Girl, I'd be too scared to do that. But but when I tell y'all that's a huge compliment, I'm so excited. Girl, you done gassed my head up. Yes, you did. You did. <laughs> is that a little gloss? What is this? My nose is so stopped up. It's hard for me to talk. Okay, so Eileen Dom5858 asks, she said, you're so beautiful. I remember the story time how you, you and hubby got together. I loved it. Do you guys ever go through rough patches? How do you get past it or solve it? It always looks like so much love between you two. Have you been to visit us here in NYC? When will you be back? No, I've never been to New York. Where is my, I can't find my, did I put it in my purse? Hold on, let me find this. Let me find it. Have you lost your mind? Cause I'll help you find it. She asked, have we ever been through a rough patch? Yes. But not like a rough patch between us. You never had like a rough patch between us two. I'm fortunate and happy to say that we've always been in sync. We've been together for, it'll be 11 years this year. It doesn't mean that we don't have disagreements because baby, we argue. We, we get into disagreements. Like we tell each other our opinion, but as far as us having a rough patch where we've been on different pages, no. Like we both have had our own share of mental health issues that we had to go through, stuff that we had to go through personally that we support each other through, but it's never a rough patch where we're not like locked in. But the rough times that we have had where it either it's been financial, like personal with like our mental health, we communicate, we communicate a lot. We talk a lot. We talk about everything. Anything that's going on with us, the other one is in the know, and we both know it's our job to support each other through that season. I think one thing that I've learned from my husband is, my husband is really good at finding the need of the person that he cares about and filling it. I've never had trust issues with my husband. He's never had that with me, so that's not like a thing. Over here, it's just usually like maybe personal mental health stuff that we have to support each other through and that's it. So how we do it is how we get past it or solve it is we communicate and then we learn how to be the bridge in the space in that person's life. And Because we're two separate people that go through separate things. So, and if we do have an issue with each other, we talk, talk, talk until we get to the bottom of it. We'll talk about it until we figure out what our part was in the breakdown. So my part is this because it takes two people to break down communication. Sometimes it's one person can completely break communication. But in our case, if there's a breakdown in communication, there's like, there, it's a two-parter. Like, what did I do to not hear you correctly? And what, how am I not hearing you correctly? And how can I listen better? All that type of stuff. Typically, we haven't, we haven't had like a rough patch though. It could just be a tough time. And we've had tough times. Plenty, okay. Yeah. Um, girl, we just talk. Oh my God, like what is that? Girl, what did I think this was? Oh my God. <laughs> what is tea, girl? Okay, now let's move along. But no, we haven't been to New York. We plan on going. New York is not because I don't like the cold and it seems busy. I'm a little bit nervous about New York. I have to be honest with you because like, it seems like it's a lot of people and I'm overly stimulated in Atlanta. So I need to get my anxiety down to a normal level because um, right now it's not normal and um, yeah. <laughs> what are your suggestions on where to go, especially for somebody like me? <laughs> Tips for gut health. I think I answered that in the last question. So glimpse, in, glimpse of lyric. Melinda Walker asked, would you ever go on a date without makeup? Yes, and I have gone without makeup. Um, I would, it's not really a big deal. Like right now it's a little bit difficult because of my dermatitis. I think I would have been, I wish I had been more confident when my skin was perfect. Even though I was, and I did go, I did go on dates with my husband without makeup. Um, 
But when I look back to when I didn't have any skin issues, like my skin is still clear. I feel like I have perfect skin, but the dermatitis kind of makes it a bit of a challenge sometimes. I'm learning now to appreciate my skin. So yes, I'll go without makeup. Nunio asks, Holla at the kid, 1796, my girl. She said, she used to do Amazon Lives back when you had like 5,000 subscribers or more. Now that you have over 100K, have you thought about getting doing a getting ready to remain link at all the products you use in the live? I got a strong hustle in me and I don't gatekeep ideas. I get a thrill out of watching people thrive. Thank you, Nudio. Shout out to Nudio, because Nudio has been here when I was a girl putting up Amazon Live videos and asking y'all to watch them here on this channel and she would be there over there every single time. Like I truly, truly appreciate her. So when I talk to Nunio, talking to my girl, I want to get back on Amazon Live. Well, I should get back on there. I've never thought about it. I've thought about doing lives over here. I don't know how y'all feel about that. I've thought about doing a get ready with me live over here. I feel like that would be fun. But Amazon Live, I would do it. I just feel like I have to get back into the scheme of things because before I would get on Amazon Live, I had to load in all my products. It was kind of like a thing. I f still feel like, I think the app is different now. They've made a lot of developments because when I started, it was like still in the pilot phase. But I would go back, maybe. Th I'll think about it. That's a good idea. I'll think about it. But what do you think about doing it on here? You know what I'm saying? Like, what do you think about doing it on YouTube? I thought about going back on Amazon Live. I've seen some of the girls that I started with still over there thriving. So, I mean, it could be cute. Could be cute. Could be a cute idea, Nudio. Shout out to you. You always have the ideas, period, all the time. I think I'm gonna use your idea for that wig washer. I think you would say something. Shout out to Nunio. Marie Divine Beauty said, what motivational words can you speak into me to push me to stop procrastinating and follow my goals? Because I be playing and I just feel like I need that push from someone who loves what they do. Okay, so from a procrastinator, I'm a procrastinator like right now, um, it's 10.38 and I had all week to do this video, girl. <laughs> I'm a procrastinator. The words I'm gonna speak to you and speak life into you are the, the words that I would say to myself that I need to take on myself. I think procrastination is a means of sabotage. And I'm speaking life into you to say that you deserve the best in this world. And if you truly believe that you deserve the best in this world, you stop procrastinating on your goals and you will start doing what you need to do to follow those goals because you deserve the best in this world. So in order to figure out what's gonna stop you from procrastinating, you need to start planning. Planning is difficult for people who procrastinate, okay? Because I don't be wanting to think about the stuff I need to do before I do them. Before I procrastinate, I need to figure out first, am I taking care of myself? Am I t if I haven't been taking care of myself, procrastination gets worse and worse. So first, figure out how do you prioritize yourself and then how do you prioritize yourself by getting to those goals, which is starting a to-do list, doing one thing a day to get you closer to you, which is closer to your goal and have an accountability partner. So if you're account my accountability partner is my husband, have an accountability partner, somebody that you trust that you tell, Hey, I told myself I was going to do this and I need you to tell me that I said I was gonna do this to make sure I do it. Create that bond with another person, whether it be a friend, a parent, um, a sibling, somebody, if you have a goal that you need to meet that day, say, hey, friend, I said I was gonna do this, and this is a major thing that I need to do today, and I need to do it. If you can't, if you don't trust yourself to hold yourself accountable, trust somebody else to do it that's in your community. There could be a lot of reasons why you procrastinate, but if you are procrastinating, just know if you procrastinated today, that doesn't mean tomorrow doesn't exist. So if you procrastinated today, let today go, girl. You procrastinated for a reason, figure it out why. If you're tired, get some rest. Girl, if you just needed a day off, you just needed that day off. But tomorrow, forget about yesterday and the fact that you procrastinated yesterday. Today is the day that you're gonna do the thing that you need to do. So start with one thing. Get a calendar. I have a big calendar on my wall and right now it's empty. When it's empty, I'm not on what I'm supposed to be doing. So get a calendar, get a poster, get something, write it on your calendar, put one thing on there that you need to hold yourself accountable for that you can do for you because you meeting your goals and working more towards your goals is a commitment to yourself and you deserve it, friend. You deserve it. You deserve to have everything you want. You deserve to meet your goals. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to have everything you want. You deserve to have that dog. You deserve to have that money. You deserve to have that car. You deserve to have that hair. <laughs> 
You deserve everything. So stop. Stop it. And I'm talking to me. Girl, I'm looking at me. <laughs> stop procrastinating. Make that list and just start. Start tomorrow. And if you miss tomorrow, do it the next day, but don't stop trying. And your accountability partner can be your friends on your Instagram or your friends on your TikTok or Twitter or whatever social media platform that you use, screaming into the void and say, this is what I'm doing today and do it. And that's it, girl, you deserve it. Stop procrastinating because you deserve the best. And when you procrastinate, you get, you're not giving yourself the best. You're giving yourself half of you. Hopefully that made sense. Girl, my mouth is dry. <laughs> yeah, I think that's my last question. <gasps> we did it. Now I just need to spread out my face. I, girl, this face is simple, dimple. And now I get to edit this video that I procrastinated on. <laughs> Ding. Let me go ahead and put in my earrings. I love to flex my little Tiffany earrings. I'm going to put my little Tiffany in here. I got my little bracelet, but I'm going to put my earrings on. Oh, it says Tiffany right <laughs> girl i'm keeping these boxes oh my god forever oh but yeah girl shout out to the q a the question so the wig questions i skipped over those one because i need to do the research and secondly girl this is a sponsored video so i can be mentioning other wig companies <laughs> in this video i can't do that so i have to do a separate video for that y'all know the business behind it so that's why I'm not. But this is a finished look. Something very, very simple, easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl. You know what I'm saying? Oh, this eats. This is cute. No one be would believe this wasn't my hair. Like you really just would be like, oh girl. You do girl? Yup. You, you use Sofa 8, you scalp stink. <laughs> y'all remember how Sofa 8 used to have the scalp stinging, but baby, them girls had the best hair. This is a finished look. Y'all tell me what you think down below. Hopefully you love this Q&A. I will be following up. I think next month I will follow up with the wig questions. I'm sorry to the people that I didn't get to your questions because they were wig questions, but I will answer it and I need to do my research before so I can answer these questions fully. So y'all look out for that. So this is a finished look. Thank y'all so much for your questions. Hopefully I answered them well. I feel like I'd be jumbled when I answer questions and for some reason my tongue get real fat. Like it, it feel like it's about to, uh, uh, I don't know what's going on. Um, I love you all. I need to put on like a, I need to put on a, a um, highlighter. Highlighter, like, I need a highlighter. I do. I'm a millennial girl. Of course I wear a highlighter. I'm a millennial girl. Of course I still overline my lips. I'm a millennial. Of course I wear MAC. <laughs> I'm a millennial. Of course I throw up the peace sign. I love you all. I want to say thank you again to OMG Her Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring the beginning portion, portion of this video. I want to say thank you to y'all for pr pr providing questions for me to answer. Girl, I was so flattered and surprised that y'all actually had so many questions for me. I was like, oh my God, they like me. They really, really like me. Oh my God. <laughs> Did I show y'all the finished look? I didn't. Look at the hairline. Flawless. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.